Hello fellow compatriots and welcome to the Tribute Chunk Files vlog number whatever. Um, hold on, the lighting is not the best. Can I adjust that? No, I cannot. Okay, so... As you may have noticed, right off the bat, you're probably wondering what happened to your mask um, and what you're wearing. I'm wearing a scorpion mask from the video game uh, known as... Mortal Kombat. Now, this isn't my bit, the best scorpion mask, you know, that I've made. Um, I was planning on scrapping this, um, but I'm glad that I didn't because of something particular that happened, which brings us to the discussion of this video. Um, my old mask, it is out of commission. Um, it's cracked immensely. It, it, it just fell apart. Um, and as you can see, this is now flapping too. Um, it's uh, I made this back in 2016. It's 2019 now, so it it lived a long life. However, I mean it it fell apart. So I'm gonna be making another mask. Um, so I'm not so sure. Uh, well, I am certain that I'll be able to make it. Uh, so. I'm going to be making a Kakama next, and if you're probably wondering, for your newer audience who don't know what a Kakama is, it's basically this guy's mask, Pohatu. Um, this is the Mask of Speed, as some people may recognize it as. Um, so, there you got that, and... Yeah, so I'm going to be working on a Kakama. I'm going to be probably doing a live stream of that, so that you guys can... Um, uh, watch me build it. Um, it's probably going to be a um, a time lapse video because it takes me a while to uh, measure and mathematic. I like to measure a lot when it comes to making masks. Like I like to do precise measurements, so that kind of thing takes a while. I don't just simply just cut away. I make sure I do precise measurements and precise cuts. Um, so I'm going to be probably doing a time lapse video and then post the time lapse video after that. Um, so yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna be making a Kakama. TLDR. Anyways, uh, for our fan request, um, someone some people in particular requested for a Kopaka how to um, the Kopaka mark that I made along with a Kapura how to. Now the unfortunate thing is is that I took apart Kopaka and Kapura. Now, Kopaka I'll rebuild the same way as he was built uh, and shown. Now, as for Kapura, uh, he has a few designs that are outdated compared to uh, what the designs that I do currently. So, I'm going to be um, uh, refurbishing the design. I'm going to be making it more. Um, uh, more up to date so that you guys can have much more fun uh, playing with the figure uh, without worrying about it um, with some axles popping out, um, especially in the waist. Um, so I'm going to be re uh, refurbishing the design and making it much more durable uh, because that's what I like to do all the time. I like to make my mocks durable. Um, case in point. Let's get purple perp over here. I mean, uh, so, example of how durable this is. I mean, only the head popped off, but... Only the head popped off, but, like, it's still durable. So, that's just a key example of how durable I usually make my mocks. Uh, for those who are curious, you know, they are durable, they're meant to be played with, they're meant to be rough house, shaked, and whatnot, so, um, i just going to be updating the design, um, so, it may not look exactly the same, uh, that's going to be intentional, because I'm going to be refurbishing design, and also, um, there's going to be less rubber bands in the overall build, as well, because, um, uh, 
I'm going to be using actual uh, flexi tubes to make the throwing disc function much more efficient and much more funner to use. Um, it has a lot more uh, tensile strength uh, when it comes to uh, throwing the actual disc uh, using those tubes. So just to let you guys know on, about that. Uh, but that is about it really that I wanted to talk about. Um, as for the Woody Kakama uh, that I've been making, if you guys have been following around for this long, I just want to let you know that I can't really record uh, me the process of me building it anymore due to um, me no longer having a place to record um, when building it, and I don't want to do it outdoor record while I'm outdoors because the wind uh, messes up with the recording and so forth, and I don't want... And it's not very good lighting either because the sun shifts and so forth. It's not constant if I do a time lapse. So I'm not going to be doing that at all. Uh, so I'm sorry guys for or those who have been following me and wanting to see a wooden kakama. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And of course, if you want to follow me on any sorts of social media, the links to those are in the description down below. I have Amino, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Pinterest, Facebook, um, Tumblr, I think I already mentioned. I, I think I already mentioned Tumblr. Um, hmm. Yeah, I have, I have pretty much Reddit. I also have Reddit as well. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys! And hopefully, you won't have to see this face earlier. But let me know if you actually like the Scorpion mask. Me, personally, I prefer I have Bionicle mask, but that's just me. And also, this is not the most comfortable mask, either. It's just rest, barely resting on my cheekbones, which is why I was going to be scrapping this. Ow. Anyways, bye! And I'm going to be doing the most unprofessional thing ever, which is touching the camera. I hope you guys don't mind, though.